Hey y'all, this is my 1,000 subscriber special. I know most of you aren't subscribed because of my gardening stuff, but I cannot emphasize enough. You gotta get that victory garden planted. Now is the time to sow seeds. I'm gonna show you why. I'll show you a few tricks around the yard. See this? This is called leafing out in the spring. The little buds turn into little leaves and a lot of the stuff does it at a slightly different time. The red twig here is just breaking its bud phase, just beginning to leaf out. This forsythia shrub bush puts the flowers on before the leaves come out and if you really look close you can see the buds. Mother Nature loves variety. My narcissistic daffodils already in flower. This is another variety of daffodil. See? Different structure and color. Here are some perennial flowers. And when they went to seed, I spread the seed. Do you see new patches of perennial flowers? Because I spread the seed. Grass has turned green, but I try and have as little of that as possible. Because what I want is rich soil. Here's my spinach. I didn't plant that this spring. I planted that last fall. And these plants, these spinach plants, stayed alive under the snow. This whole area, right around St. Patrick's Day, which would be the 17th of March, 2021. I sown spinach, Swiss chard, and lettuce seeds. This is becoming a hugel culture. Now if you look close, now that it's the 12th of April, you look close, you look close, germination, germination. Look and study nature. See, nature's seedlings are coming up now and it's raining. Spring showers plant flowers. And how does nature do it? You see, this probably grew back from a root. But these were probably dropped from seed. Perhaps with a lot of plants and seeds, I don't have to do all this cultivation and all this crazy shit and tilling and all that and burying stuff and all that. Maybe I can just Drop some seed. Here's butter crunch lettuce seed. I chose butter crunch because it tends not to get bitter. And there's a whole lot of seed in there. I'm just gonna walk around and drop little trails. Both times after you've sown the seed, do a quick stomp out to disturb everything that's already growing there and this will but by default mix in the seeds you spread and eliminate the competition so you really want to everyone has their own style of gardening what works for them me man I like to do stuff as easy as possible Here we are at the potato patch, and I planted these around St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, it's zone five, and they say that's early, but... They look okay to me. Trick is, you gotta do the Ruth Stout method. Planted two varieties, yellow and red. They're just grocery store potatoes, and they say sometimes they won't grow, but in my experience, if you leave little 
pieces of your potato salad in the compost, they'll grow. Just the easiest thing in the world. You don't have to cut them up or nothing. Lay them out with a little good spacing. Lay down some straw. Straw, hay, whatever. Get the sunlight off them. Keep the frost off them. There you go. Ruth Stout method. Also been saving a few eyes from every potato and burying them too. Every potato I eat. Bulb type plants to plant. These are the sweet Vidalia onions before I eat most of them. And I got some of this California soft neck garlic. I hear it's really great on the grill. It starts like this and you take the papers apart and you get the individual little things here and you plant those and I uh, hear it grows a ton of garlic and it'll come back every year it's already starting to grow three of these resulted in about 45 cloves that's so that's each package now here I got a Asiatic lily and the bulbs are similar to garlic you could plant them whole or you can peel them away a little bit how my onion scraps look just dig them a little a little something pop them in with the roots down and tuck them in and I'm not planning on watering any of this stuff that I'm planting I'm gonna let nature do it I'm gonna plant things let them get established during the rainy season okay. this beautiful beautiful soil used to be clay you can see what laying down straw and hay does for it see see how it breaks down plant right in there whole lot of garlic planted on either side of my sweet fidelias just gotta cover it up Lilies. I did strip off some of the outside petals carefully, but the inner bulbs, like this, just chopped up, and now I'm just going to tuck them in. Well, the big birds made some amazing deep mulch over the winter. You see, I just pile it, pile it, and it's got all kind of fertilizer in it now. Lots of it. So I'm going to scoop it out and see what we got. As you can see here, this stuff is about a foot deep. And if you're wondering, does it smell? No, it doesn't. I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the amount of fantastic enriched mulch that came out of here. And if you look, you in the in the warm weather you want to get down to the cool, cool grounds so they can put their belly on it. But uh this is used to be clay soil, but it's starting to look like the fabled black gold put down just like the thinnest little layer they can scrub it around and put their bellies right on the ground if they like I love my little creek when it rains this thing dries up when it's not wet out but uh, I think I'll collect some water for my tanks and stuff later it's garlic mustard tried eating it it is edible but it doesn't really taste like garlic. It's not all that good. And it's extremely invasive. Pulling it out. Let's see. Get rid of it. These are baby ferns. You eat these called fiddleheads. May 4th. And as you can see, the leafing has really begun these spotted leaves mature trout lilies oh look at the flowers coming on this wild strawberry absolutely epic year for jewelry these my replanted onions and the first of my garlic starting to show up boom See it? My garlic. Almost out of camera space, so I'll finish this up by saying the trick to having really fertile land is to create situations where worms thrive. 
And when you have lots of healthy worms around, your soil is healthy, your microbes are healthy, you know, lay down some hay or straw, organic material. Things will be good. Take care, y'all.